Hello my loves, this video is all about me being an introvert and trying to work with that and trying to live with my personality type which is an INJF. If you haven't done the 16 personalities quiz then I definitely recommend you do it, I'll leave a link below. It's basically a really detailed questionnaire which tells you about yourself, we all have different personality types, there are, there are 16 different ones and yeah. I'm an INGF, which basically means I'm an introvert, and that means that my social battery gets drained when I am hanging with people. When I am socialising with people, my battery is slowly being depleted, whereas if you're an extrovert, you usually get a lot of energy from hanging with people, and it usually makes you want to do that even more, whereas introverts are the opposite. It's like, we hang with people, we, we can be really social, but... <laughs> then we need to recharge. So that's what I have been doing. I spent the weekend in Copenhagen with my friends, which was absolutely incredible. So, so much fun. But this also meant that we had three to five hours of sleep both nights. And there was so much socializing, so much moving, so much activities and a lot of talking. And as an introvert, I am dead. I am physically and mentally drained. I used to think this was really weird and this was really wrong, especially because I was in a relationship with an extroverted person, so it was very out of the ordinary for me to be like, I can't function, I can't do anything. After going to a family event or hanging out with friends, my extroverted partner used to be super energetic after those events and I was depleted, I was dead and this made me feel like there was something wrong with me or it made me feel like I was lazy or I was unsociable, I lacked social skills but now that I know myself, now that I know my personality type and I know that this has happened very very often, it always happens after these big social events, I have learned there's nothing wrong with it, that it actually is just me and it's just the way that I process things. It's not a negative thing. In fact, there are positives and maybe negatives that come with being an extrovert and an introvert. I don't think either or is good or bad. I think they're just two different ways of living and two different ways of functioning. So I thought I'd share with you some ways that I am getting my energy back after this big social holiday as an introverted person. So first of all, I feel really lucky that I had the next day off. I didn't have to go anywhere. I didn't have to go to work. I didn't have to socialize. The only things that I had to do were reply to my emails, reply to clients and do my washing and food shopping because, you know, I need to eat. So that's all I had to do. And I would recommend that after a big social event, try and get some time to yourself. It doesn't have to be a full day, but if you can get an hour, if you can get a few hours with nothing scheduled, then that will really, really help you to replenish and get your energy back. Some ways that I like to replenish is journaling, is sitting and literally doing nothing, listening to a meditation if it makes you feel a bit more productive. I know that I feel like I have to be productive 24 seven, so rather than lying down doing nothing or lying down watching something, sometimes I will just listen to meditation or watch my favourite YouTuber or watch an educational video even. But if you don't want that stimulation, if you feel like you really need to chill, then watch something fun, watch absolutely nothing, go to sleep, listen to some music, something that is going to calm you down and slow you down. After I fell asleep and after I lay down for hours, I finally had some physical energy and then I went outside and I journaled. Nature always seems to give me some energy and makes me feel inspired, so I was with the trees, I was with the nature and that made me really, really happy and gave me a bit more energy to then fold my washing and then put my washing away and tidy my room. I didn't have that energy before. I always feel like nature and being outside gives me a lot of energy, whereas socialising and people don't. So getting out in nature is a really good way to replenish and just doing a little journaling session, nothing too big, just reflecting on the weekend, reflecting on thoughts, reflecting on the events, and even reassuring yourself that there's nothing wrong with you. This introvert, this introvertism <laughs> in you is just you, it's just natural. And so 
So I reflected on that whilst I was outside and then just had some fun on the grass. I just want to remind you to embrace the person that you are and embrace how you react to certain situations. Whether you are super social and all you want to do is talk to people and do more events and socialise even more, or whether you need to hibernate and lie down in bed, whichever one you are, embrace it and remind yourself that there's nothing wrong, it's just who you are and it's just how we function as human beings. For so so long I felt like I was unsocial and I've learned that being an introvert doesn't actually mean you're unsociable, it just means that you need to recharge and I think that's really nice actually. I've learned to really embrace that and really like that about myself because it means I'm really comfortable being alone, really comfortable being on my own. I thought I'd just share my thoughts and like I mentioned there is a 16 personalities test which you can take but obviously <laughs> I don't want you to live by this test, this is something I'm actively trying to do as well. I'm not living by like a label, living by my personality test but when I did it and got the results I really related to what it said and I know a lot of people who have said the same thing so it might just reassure you, it might just give you some clarity as to why you might behave in the way that you do because we are humans, we like to put labels on things, we like to give reasons behind why we act a certain way, why we say certain things. So if you are anyone like that then taking this test I think will yeah give you a bit of clarity so definitely do it and let me know what you are because I'm really curious. Thank you so so much for watching this video, let me know if you're an introvert or an extrovert and hopefully see you soon.